What's up YouTube, Thrift Hunter here with this week's garage sale and estate sale finds. Picked up a ton of silver this week, lots of nice jewelry. Uh, I went to estate sales, I went to garage sales, I went everywhere. Um, did get really lucky at one sale. It's going to be a big haul, uh, please sit back, relax. Uh, it's going to be a long one. We got some really cool stuff I'm excited to show you guys, so let's get started. Alright, so starting out, obviously all this stuff here is silver. Uh, we've got a sterling weighted compote. I paid 20 bucks for that. I got a sterling weighted candlestick holder. Paid uh, maybe a couple dollars for that. A sterling, looks like a tea strainer. Uh, pretty big one, I paid 30. Um, which was right around what it melts at. The guy uh, weighed, weighed it out for that one. Um, Sterling, this is like an older Art Deco with the engine turning. Um, Sterling handled pair of scissors, which is kind of unique. Uh, paid about five bucks for those. Uh, got a couple of napkin ring holders, about ten bucks a piece for those, so pretty good deal. A cool frog pin. I saw this and I was like, oh, is that for sale? And they're like, oh, yeah. I'm like, how much? And I don't know. It's probably $5. He's like, it's glass. It's glass. I'm like, okay. But it's not glass. It's actually sterling. So pretty neat little frog pin. Uh, a couple of completed listings online for these at around $40. So uh, nice little one there. Got a nice big pair of sterling uh, hoops. Uh, they are marked on the inside there somewhere. Um, little Seiko automatic. That's whatever. Um, nice Kremitz bracelet, but it's got some kind of a wonky soldering job something on the back but I uh, probably paid a dollar for that it's probably gold filled so mm, I'm not sure uh, a little older cloisonne bangle but nothing special uh, nice tiger's eye um, 14 karat clasp and the, the, that's worth like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, maybe. But there's a little 14 karat clasp. Probably paid a couple of dollars for that. Um, J. Crew uh, rhinestone piece, pretty nice. A uh, original band for W6P Locoulter watch. Now wearing turquoise band. The turquoise band was at the sale. Somebody else bought it, but it's all right. This is a an original. Let's see, La Coulter uh, ladies watch band. It looks like it's. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's like lizard or a snake or alligator or whatever strap. But it's got the little, uh, it's hard to see, little JL LeCoulter, um, I guess I can show you here, that little emblem on there, and it says on the back, like, Swiss got made. this large multi-stone um, pearl necklace, it's got, like, I think uh, three strands to it, um, it's really nice, I paid $10 for it, um, not my favorite purchase, uh, but it will sell and probably pretty easily so nice big stone. I mean, I've seen these ones before a lot um, Not too bad. Uh, here's one of my favorite pieces um, From the past couple of days nice big sterling uh, turquoise piece um, At one of the sales where I got the napkin ring holders and the spoon and stuff. Um, I saw this they wanted 60 and I was like, uh, you know, you do any better? They're like 50, and I'm like, ah, I don't know. Because it's not signed. The big thing is this is not signed, um, which is really what hurts it. But uh, I said, well, if I buy all of your silver, which was like at scrap price, which I was cool with, um, will you do 40 for this? And they're like, yeah, sure. 
So I got this for 40 um, pretty hefty on the price, but um, I've got it up on eBay already, um, and it's getting some interest. I've got a pretty uh, decent price on it, like 120 or something, um, and I think I'll get at least around 75 for it, probably. So pretty, pretty good um, piece, very nice. Um, I did get a nice uh, Chinese silver enamel cuff bracelet. It's got some pretty nice uh, markings there. Uh, not sure. You, you guys can probably see it a little bit better than I can as usual. Um, but clearly marked silver. Um, really nice enamel work. Uh, I've seen a couple of these sell on eBay before. They Their, their price range is kind of all over the place. Um, big thing condition on the enamel. The enamel is actually uh, pretty decent on this one. Um, and I like that. I paid two dollars for that and so obviously it's a good good score anyway. Um, some just little earrings, little flower earrings. These are the older ones with the uh, the enameling. Uh, I'm not sure how well you guys can see. Apologize. I'm trying to do the best I can with my lighting. Um, so there's that. Um, sterling pair of cufflinks, I probably paid, uh, like 10 bucks for these. Um, they're pretty nice, you know, Taxco, Mexico, Sterling right there. Uh, pretty neat. Um, I did like this ring, I just couldn't leave it. I'm pretty sure it's copper, it, it definitely, I'm almost 100% sure it's copper. It was probably silver plated at one point, but it's, uh, it's got one of those, like, multicolor, uh, watermelon whatever uh probably glass stones but with some opal it's just a nice nice well made ring um so i picked it up i think i paid five uh for that um just in a little bag of kind of junk i bought these little opals um, let's see if you guys can see them there you go little 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 opals they're, they're fairly uh, thin, but, you know, they're real opals. This one's about, I think the total is about three and a half carats, um, which doesn't have a lot of value, but like 20 to 40 bucks maybe for somebody who wants to put it in some jewelry. So that was just in a bag of like junk earrings that I saw, and I was like, oh, those are nice. So I bought those. Um, here's a really good score from this estate sale. Where you're going to see a lot more pieces from that I paid for everything at this estate sale. I spent about 325 bucks, um, and this was one of the pieces. Um, that's James Avery. Um, this is called like the Eternal Ribbon Pendant, I guess. And it's Mark Avery and Sterling. Um, I saw that right away, and I, I, I have seen this mark before. So it's with the box, with the pouch. Um, these go anywhere from like 40 to 70 dollars, so um, nice pickup there. All right, let's move on to the next group of stuff. Um, I bought a whole like ribbon full of pins. This was like a dollar or two. Um, one of them on here, this one is sterling, and I don't know. So I bought that, just a whole group of pins. Um, another Seiko. Seiko automatic watch with the original Seiko band um, for a couple bucks I figured I might as well I tend to stay away from Seiko unless it's like a dive watch but uh, picked it up anyway same thing here um, Lucerne Swiss uh, little manual wind I always pick these up if you can get them really really cheap might as well um, but this one was actually pretty nice I saw this one right away Can you guys see that? There's an Elgin watch. Pretty neat. Obviously beat up. Um, really nice original like leather band. No markings on the back. I haven't been able to get this case back off yet. I assume that it's probably a nickel um, case. But really cool. Um, Elgin watch. A Hamilton. Hamilton uh, movement. I don't know. This was like a dollar or two, so why not? 
Um, and then this one, let's see if you guys can catch the name on this one. Oh, it's going to be so hard to show you. Right there. Can you see it? You guys can probably see it like perfectly. And I can't see it at all because my screen is pretty bad. Anyway, it says Rolex. Um, little, little, itty bitty Rolex uh, ladies watch movement. Not worth very much at all, but uh, still cool. Found a Rolex. Um, bought a box of like silver chain. Maybe you can see it better down here. There you go. Um, I don't know. Prices are so cheap, I just bought it. Uh, some of it's for sure silver, like this braided stuff is for sure silver. But um, the little, this stuff, I don't know if it's silver, but really nice uh, bits and pieces of chain um, that I'll probably end up testing. But it had this piece in here, which is marked for silver. It's marked, I think, right there. I think it's marking it on the back. But this is like a clasp for an old uh, bracelet. Really nice filigree work. So for a couple bucks for the box, this pays for it for sure. Um, so pretty cool stuff um, there. So there's that group. This is just a nice um, sterling silver Italy um, mesh bracelet. I paid $20 for that. And it weighs about 40 grams or so. And I'm pretty comfortable with the purchase. Um, so nice piece there. Um, cuff bracelet um, I don't know if this one's signed uh, it is it just says uh, Mexico 925 uh, but it's a nice cuff bracelet I paid 15 uh, and I think that was uh, that was fair enough for that it's a nice cuff and then, um, this one's maybe a little bit nicer but same kind of uh, stone uh, nice big cuff bracelet. This one was 20, uh, which I think was a fair deal. Um, it is marked. Uh, let's see what this one's marked. This one has the the, yeah, the moon and the R, which uh, I know who the designer is of that. Um, because I have another piece by the same person that's got a more clear marking. Um, so should be an easy sell for sure. Um, this piece I do like quite a bit. Let's see if you can It's old. It's like really dusty and the silver's uh, obviously not very shiny. Um, but it is signed right there. Uh, it just says sterling and it's got a mark but I just can't read the designer um, I think it goes like that but that's a pretty old one um, so I don't know I paid a couple of dollars maybe for that and we'll see what it brings um, I picked up this piece this is one of those green rhinestone I'm pretty sure that this is not silver um, usually the ones that are silver are marked, and I don't see any markings on this one, but if it is silver, it's worth a lot more than if it's not, but still a neat, um, bangle. Uh, I did have another watch. There's the watch there. I opened it up. It's just like a no-name Swiss movement. This is a 14 karat, uh, gold filled case, which makes it a little bit nicer. Um, so another cool watch I picked up for pretty cheap. Uh, sterling bracelet. And it is marked somewhere. Oh, there it is. You know, Taxco. Mexico, 925. Nothing too special, but pretty cool. I uh, do like this piece. It's a nice big... Uh, quartz crystal and uh, maybe an amethyst crystal and it's mark 925 huge piece 
Uh, didn't have to pay too much for that. Real neat there. And uh, a little 14 karat pearl uh, earrings there. So we'll be back with some more stuff. Um, obviously you see all this uh, sterling and uh, malachite stuff. Um, I've seen this stuff before at many sales. Um, it's nice, nice quality. Um, this one's pretty clearly signed as well. Um, for this one and this one here with the faces um, and then a brooch with the same design uh, for those three pieces was like 12 bucks which uh, obviously a uh, really good deal there um, something like this maybe 50 bucks and then maybe another 50 for those two uh, I would think um, guess uh, th there's this one uh, this one's a beauty real uh, pretty uh, turquoise bracelet this one's actually unsigned and uh, I paid 20 um, but turquoise I've sold every piece of sterling turquoise I've ever bought so <laughs> I'm sure I'll have no problem but uh, some of these some of these turquoise uh, pieces just go crazy for some reason on eBay. Um, specifically, this kind of this type of color um, people really like. So I don't know. I'm hopeful for this one uh, for sure. Uh, really nice sterling, uh, older sterling uh, bracelet with some uh, looks like maybe glass stones. Uh, I've seen this sell before. Um, and I think they sell for like 30 or 35 bucks. That's what I'd probably put it, put it at. It's Mark Sterling right there. Nice piece. Uh, sterling uh, earrings, turquoise, handmade, and pretty cool. Um, these these uh, earrings here uh, are pretty crazy. First of all, they're huge. Second of all, they're sterling and uh, looks like ebony to me. I'm not sure how well you guys can, can see, but I think that's ebony. And uh, they're clip style. And they are signed. There's a little signature right there. No clue who these are by. Uh, I looked, did a quick search on ebony and sterling stuff. And not much came up. Uh, anything that did come up was priced for a lot. So I have no idea on these. I might just auction them. I'm not sure. I might put a high price on them and let them sit. Uh, I think they are super cool. Uh, did not pay much for those. So That is sterling. That is freaking sterling. <laughs> that thing is huge. Uh, I paid five bucks for it and I about fainted <laughs> so this is uh it's marked on this uh, clasp here Let's see oh terrible lighting terrible lighting terrible lighting I know there we go nine two five it's tax co um, it's got all these like handmade beads and like just blocks of sterling um, it does have one damaged bead right here. You can see that one is uh, split open. But other than that, I don't really care. It's uh, 155 grams. It's about five and a half ounces of silver. Uh, crazy, crazy with that one. Uh, doesn't look like sterling really from that far away it's like ah, eh, it just looks like beads um so definitely one that they missed at the uh state sale so um pretty cool i'll just leave it there uh here's the next one that was uh really awesome i thought for sure i thought this would be worth a lot of money um but it's really actually not that expensive but i think it's the same same uh designer see there we go yep there. 
same designer. You see the 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 moon and the the R there. RMT Sterling. Um, pretty. Uh, they they made a lot of stuff. Uh, very prolific uh, artist. Um, this one's called like the Rising Sun or something like that. And zigzag design to it. it weighs like 50 grams. Big heavy piece. Paid twenty dollars for that. Uh, definitely steal all day long. Um, but there's one on eBay for like seventy. So I, I was hoping for like two hundred bucks, but not quite worth that much. So nice piece. Um, this is like a gold filled locket. Uh, it's got a marking on it, but it's rubbed, so I may have to test that just in case. Um, but neat piece there. Lock it. Um, this piece. Is neat. Uh, I tend to stay away from this kind of stuff because it's almost uh, never actually silver. Um, but this piece does have some pretty... Uh, Pretty clear markings on it at the top, uh, which makes me think that that might be silver. Um, it's on this big, uh, big rope chain, but the uh, the clasp is marked 925, but it's marked like right there, which is kind of weird. Um, so I'll have to test it uh, to see if it's silver. No idea. I have to do some more research on that. Um, check out this bracelet. Really, really nice. Another one of those Italy mesh bracelets, which I have a silver one of. Um, this one is marked right here. There you go. 18 karat uh, 1-GF, which is gold filled means 120th gold filled uh, when you mark something like this uh, 18 karat uh, 1 and then GF that's 120th gold filled so you take the weight of this uh, which is um, something like 45 grams and you divide it by 20 and that gives you how many grams of 18 karat was used to make this piece um, so it comes out to be, I believe, when I did the calculation, about two and a half grams of 18 karat, um, an actual recoverable gold in this bracelet. And that's why I'm always telling you guys, buy gold filled. Because uh, this piece, for sure, I mean, I'm not going to scrap this, but there's actual gold value. And the, the people at the estate sales and garage sales, most people everywhere have no clue what gold fill even means. Or they just, you know have no idea they just know it's not real gold so they just tend to toss it um, so nice pick up there I picked paid um, couldn't have been much maybe five or ten bucks um, so cool piece there uh, I'm gonna ask like 75 100 for it at least um, and then this piece holy moly um, it's big it's nice uh, it's gold tone says on the back carnelian and chrysoprase i believe and it says 65 bucks that's what the guy said he paid for it or i don't know he just read this off the back this metal i don't know it looks uh gold filled maybe it could be silver it's like it's really weird um the chain also really nice um should be gold filled but looks like maybe most of the gold filled's worn off uh, didn't really find any markings anywhere. Um, there could be one under that tag, maybe, but... <sighs> I don't know about this one. I've seen similar online at some point, a long time ago, I saw something like this. And I'm pretty sure it brought some good money. Um, so, gonna do more research on it, but beautiful, beautiful piece. For 20 bucks, I paid for that one, so I had no problem with that. Um... A nice pendant there, a uh, nice old spoon there, neat one. Um, this piece I'll show you a little bit closer because I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Cat hanging on, uh, you put the chain through there with uh, looks like little emerald eyes. Uh, it's marked 925 on the back. It's probably got a maker's name but I can't really read it. 
Um, doesn't matter. I've seen this sell before too, and I think it's uh, decent. So, uh, new piece there. Obviously, the person was probably a a uh, cat person. Um, there's another pair of nice uh, Sterling uh, Bullfighter cufflinks. Um, you know, just a little snake. Um, there's a lot of silver uh, single earrings. There's a couple of pairs. Um, there's a little opal uh, sterling ring, sterling you know watch back, sterling chain. This is cremets, uh, more sterling stuff. A uh, yeah. really nice, really old handmade uh, red coral ring. Um, pretty neat one there, similar to one I've gotten before. Um, sterling mark nine two five on the bottom little pendant um, more of these sterling turquoise pieces um, sterling turquoise uh, like single earrings and broken stuff um, single earring there you know just all this stuff <laughs> just if it was silver and I could get it for a couple bucks I was buying it um, so yeah there's all the little silver pieces um, there's that uh, another one of those cat rings remember I got one of those before a little silver cat ring I know you guys can be like oh could I buy it I don't know most of this stuff will go up on eBay at some point pretty slow at uh, listings so I've got some stuff listed right now I'm still processing things from the sale like two weeks ago um, I've sold about a thousand dollars worth of stuff. If you remember, I spent about six hundred and sixty, seven hundred dollars on that stuff. Um, have over a thousand in sales on it already. Net is about you know break even, maybe a little bit of profit so far. And um, then I've still got uh, twenty something list uh, things listed, um, and still so much more to go. This stuff obviously takes a lot of work, um, but it will pay off. Uh, it's just going to take some time. Some, some gold stuff, uh, obviously some little gold uh, box chains, 14 karat, a um, couple of grams, like 3 grams I think there and that stuff. A uh, little gold just single earring. Um, this I believe is gold, I'm uh, not 100%, looks like some kind of uh, Egyptian styling there. Uh, it's got some markings. It's marked right there. And then it's also marked somewhere else. It's marked right there. You guys can see that. Um, the color looks like 10 carat, maybe like 9 carat, maybe uh, maybe it's 14. It doesn't look like 14. It looks like a little bit lower of a carat. Um, but it looks like it's got some gold hallmarks there. Uh, so that weighs about 5 grams. And, you know, that was just... I couldn't have paid much for that dollar or something. Um, so a nice piece there. Uh, this uh, little 14 karat and pearl uh, piece there. These little uh, butterfly earrings. You know, cute as can be. Uh, these are 18 karat. Um... Let's see if I can get them a little bit closer. So those are 18 karat, and they're a little bit blue of a stone. So, I don't know. I don't know what stone it is, but it's 18 karat white gold. The uh, earring back right there is marked 750, and then it's marked 18 karat on the, uh, the stem. So cool piece there. And then the last piece, uh, I got this, uh, I think I paid like 10 bucks for it. Um, the chain is 14 karat. So, nice gold, gold uh, chain. And then this is not marked, or it is marked. It's got a rubbed marking, excuse me. And it just says like, all I can read on it is... Stens, and you guys aren't gonna be able to see it, but uh, it looks like it almost says Jossens, but I don't think it is. Um, the stone, let's 
see. You can see it. Better? Worse? I don't know. Uh, either Sapphire or um, something else. Topaz or Tanzanite or something. I don't know. It could be glass. Uh, it might not even be gold, this pendant. But it probably is because these came together. Um, but I paid like 10 bucks. That's uh, probably an easy 100 So um, just in the gold. Uh, so, if you like this video, please, please, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, uh, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.